just outside Claremont, Iowa at Kroll's Sand Pit, uh, which runs right alongside the Turkey River. We are using our new custom-made sand plant that we put into operation late last year in the new dredge. Our goal is to produce 100,000 ton of concrete sand at this site. The site we're at today produces sand and some, some river rock as well. The sand is used in uh, the ready mix concrete. The rock produced at this site is everything from pea gravel on up to three inch baseball, even some softball size. And it's loaded up on a haul truck, hauled across the yard to a crushing operation where they utilize a cone crusher and, and break it down into three quarter inch concrete stone that's used for commercial ready mix. The material is, is transferred through the pipeline up to the plant, you can see where it runs up into the doghouse and goes through screens and then eventually ends up down in the classifier tank. The material typically comes to the pipeline at a rate of about 17 to 20 feet per second. On top of the plant we have a velocity box that kills the velocity and uh, from there it enters into a vibrating rock screen and which takes the rock off the top. So your rocket band is coming up through the pipe, it goes into the box and then it up in the front there, it goes down through the smaller stuff. All the big stuff stays on top, and the smaller rock goes on to the bottom, down to the last screen. And then the sand all goes down into that trough, and the trough takes it to the classifier. The, the augers are twin 44s. Our whole plant can do 800 ton per hour. We want to make all DOT gradation sand to pass state of Iowa's requirements. It has to be graded sand. The classifier tank's job is to grade the sand and give us a quality product that can be used in building bridges, highways, roads, state, city, and county. The tonnage fluctuates throughout the day as the dredge moves forward and has cave offs. Right now we're at uh, uh, 365 ton an hour at present. Our goal here at this site is to put up 100,000 ton of sand, so we wouldn't have to come back here for a couple of years. Uh, we're gonna move this plant probably three times this year. Hopefully we got production up there near 400,000 ton. Crew foreman Kenny Shimmick is the one on the dredge now. He's watching vacuum gauges, uh, head pressure gauge, velocity gauges. Uh, also, he has a scale readout from shore here, so he knows whatever he's doing out there produces so many tons an hour, and it makes him really efficient. Well, we're just basically digging up rock and sand from the bottom of the pit here. It's got a big chain on the end, digs up the material. The big pump back here creates vacuum and it sucks water and sand rock up but up the pipeline up to the plant. Everything behind me has been dredged already. I'm just picking up what was left of the old deposit that didn't get dredged last time. Good coarse sand is usually close to the river, you know. Not always, but majority of the time. In all my years of operations in the sand and gravel business, I'd never seen a plant like this portableized. It was great being a part of this building process, putting it to use, just watching it, watching it throw out the material. The biggest thing we expect out of this plant is to be able to wash the raw material. You don't know what kind of uh, deposit you're going to get into. The sand is what God gave us to work with and it gets washed at the plant and graded and we want to make sure that it's quality product put in a yard of concrete so you get quality concrete. 